My name is Domingo Sanchez Mesa. I am a full professor at the Faculty of Communication at the University of Granada uh, in the Comparative Media Studies uh, field. Currently, I am the supervisor of the uh, master's degree in uh, new interactive uh, digital media and uh, uh, multimedia journalism. And also, I coordinate together with my colleague uh, Jordi Alberic the um, research project on transmedial narratives, which is quite related, quite connected with this master degree I mentioned before. If I uh, should try to describe uh, the actual um, crossroads where uh, journalism is, uh, second decade of the 21st century, in the midst of a second phase of the digital revolution, and uh, with all the novelties that uh, new interactive media have uh, raised, I would say that journalism keeps on having the same fundamental role, which is uh, being able to report and construct uh, narrative information, no matter if it's written or visual or audiovisual or interactive, about facts, about uh, actual events that are relevant for citizenship, events that uh, public opinion must be well informed about. I think from that point of view, journalism has not changed, but the truth is also that many things have changed. Uh, the economical crisis, together with the technological and cultural revolution attached to new digital media, have had tremendous impact on journalists. Uh, not only the classical uh, system of financing based on publicity uh, just collapsed, so newspapers and media from one year to the next one found themselves uh, orphans of this natural financing source. The cultural social crisis at the turn of the century also uh, brought a crisis of trust. Uh, media, newspapers lost, in a way, part of the social citizenship trust on them. Independence was a very important uh, foundation of the social institution of journalism and that independence step by step uh, fell also into crisis. This sum up to the new social uses of new windows for being informed. Citizens use internet, computers, smartphones, blogs, social media to be informed and to get uh, the news that are not filtered by the professionals anymore. Uh, so all these factors together have forced uh, professional media and the uh, journalist world in itself to face very critical and difficult uh, transformations. One of those a uh, big transformation is to learn how to collaborate with the audience, how to change uh, their minds about what the construction of a new is. News are not anymore the end of a process of journalist construction of information. It is a moment in a chain of conversation between facts and events and citizens who must be informed and demand this kind of journalist professional information. Uh, from that point of view, journalists enter a conversation with all audiences and uh, pick up uh, a number of uh, sources to turn the old concept of new into a flux of contents that are open for the readers to uh, browse navigate, explore. Uh, this is what we will be calling also a transmedialization of, of news. And from that point of view, 
uh, we could all also imagine uh, uh, this transformation in terms of uh, geometry, if you want. No? If we try to attach the research that we are doing here at the University of Granada with our didactic uh, uh, work, with our training of the students, we could uh, remember how, for instance, part of our research team, like uh, Jordi Alberico or Magdalena Trillo, have proposed uh, to imagine a shift from the bidimensional uh, model of the inverted pyramid as a scheme for describing the construction of uh, news uh, into a more um, cubist sort of metaphor that they call the Rubik Cube, where the traditional way of understanding news would change from that bidimensional inverted pyramid, where the five traditional W's would keep on being basic for this journalist information. These five views, that five W's of the inverted pyramid would be turning into a cube uh, where the more uh, superficial um, uh, layer would correspond precisely to those uh, five W questions, the old concept of new. And as far as you go deep into the cube, you will be finding a second layer, which would, uh, uh, could be conceptualized, could be understood as the multimedia dimension of the new, because multimedia journalists now will be leading with uh, not only with written text, but also, of course, with audio files, video files, animations, visualizations, uh, turning themselves into multimedia journalists. So this second layer of the cubic uh, cube, the Rubik cube, would be the multimedia dimension of the, of the new. And as you go deeper into the heart of the, of the cube, you would be finding the third layer that they call uh, precisely the transmedia dimension of the, of the um, new, the, inf the journalist information. That transmedia uh, dimension means that uh, readers should be able to enter this flux of contents and text from wherever they considered to do it, wherever they are attached and engaged to do it. So you should have more like a hypertextual sort of design of the new. And at the same time, they would be allowed to enlarge that text or that flux of contents to uh, enrich it and to share it, projecting it uh, through the net, through social network and then extending the conversation beyond. This is what we call, with Alberic call, crowdsourcing embedded into multimedia or transmedia journalism. If we try to describe very briefly the um, um, didactic architecture of our study plan at our master degree in, in multimedia journalism, transmedia, multimedia journalism here in Granada, I would say that one of the key um, principles uh, have been to uh, bring together the uh, classical traditional training in, in analogic or traditional journalism with uh, a, a good and strong um, series of contents and subject matters on, on tech applied technology to, uh, to professional journalism, and also some of the uh, fundamental um, core competences from the audiovisual communication field. So we are working kind of old set of profiles together, what formerly we called audiovisual communication and journalism, into something that we perceive in real um, um, professional uh, life, what companies and media are demanding, are a set of complex of competences that come from those two old 
more or less link fields of audiovisual communication, uh, media studies, uh, and also journalism, with a strong component of technology, of applied technology. Um, we tried to, we tried to uh, design a study plan where um, academic intellectual reflection would be mingling and interacting very strongly and efficiently with the professional real uh, uh, situations. From that point of view, if we could um, um, mention one good practice that we have identified in our, in our uh, courses, I would say that there are several subjects, several courses where working in class uh, simulating in class real uh, tasks for um, multimedia, transmedia, um, newsroom, uh, in order to make the students work together um, collaboratively, um, uh, sharing roles for producing uh, multimedia journalist content to be migrated from one platform to another, from, from a web into um, a blog, and then to a social network, etc. This sort of activity in class is extremely uh, efficient, but at the same time, the good thing has been to be able to uh, have uh, concrete agreements with, uh, with media, with professional um, companies of our environment in Granada in order to let those pieces of, of multimedia content produced by the students to be published in real uh, media webs and, and blogs. This has been extremely um, rewarding for the students. It, it demands an effort of management in order to bring like little internships into uh, regular subject matters of the study plan. But this is something that, that really works, of course, and it's, it's extremely rewarding for the students. Um, moreover, if um, we could, uh, if, if, if we should uh, describe also a set of contents that uh, our subject matters for the study plan should, uh, should provide, uh, we should be uh, talking about, uh, of course, a good introduction on on the concept of transmedia and transmedia journalism. Transmediality, it's uh, uh, apparently a new communicative phenomena where uh, uh, texts and uh, worlds, no matter if they're fictional or non-fictional, when we talk about journalism, we're talking about non-fictional worlds. Fictional or non-fictional worlds get distributed in different platforms, in different um, media and uh, that distribution of uh, in this case news or journalist text must be coordinated to provide the reader with a very engaging experience in order to follow that uh, story uh, a a among along around different media and uh, providing the reader with a more immersive experience of this uh, storytelling uh, that could be consumed uh, on the computer screen or on paper or on your smartphone. So this is more or less what we could uh, summarize as the concept of transmedia storytelling, where there's all also a very clear uh, component of um, participation uh, by the audience, no? uh, of uh, collaboratively uh, uh, action of uh, formerly passive, passive readers. So besides that, uh, of course, we need a good and um, very strong um, training in tools, in, uh, in software tools applied specific for multimedia journalism. A good training, of course, on management of um, digital files and audio files, video files, uh, photography, graphics. Visualization of data becomes more and more um, important. Um, timelines, um, design, maps. Um, and of course, some theoretical um, insight and training into the specificity of uh, multimedia and transmedia storytelling. Uh, 
linear storytelling, it's, it's changing into a new way of uh, construction, hypertextual, transmedia, where uh, the old concept of narrative is shifting, no? is, is changing. Uh, there are specific um, features of um, smartphone uh, use for journalists, of course. Tablet and smartphones are very powerful um, tools and, of course, um, uh, user design uh, friendly uh, formats are key. So the this, this, this students must have also good training in that. I would not forget the fact that uh, multimedia and transmedia uh, journalism and um, multitask kind of uh, training does not mean that journalists should be um, orchestra man or just uh, somebody who must know about anything. Um, being, being very skillful in different kind of technical um, tasks is not incompatible with the need to get more and more specialized. I think that multimedia and transmedia translation is also bringing some sort of less, more or less paradoxical situation where journalists must be step by step more specialized, mm -hmm. meaning war conflict kind of journalism, scientific uh, journalism, sports, politics, economics, Media and companies demand more and more, uh, more specialized kind of, um, of journalists. Sometimes this enters into contradiction with the fact that uh, companies are not rich anymore and they are uh, resorting to, um, of course, freelance and their uh, in-house uh, staff is really not well paid. But, uh, we must, in terms of education and training and study plans, I think we have to have a very strong idea about the need to, to help the students to build their profiles as freelancers and freelancers that are very well trained in technical um, competences and also in a specific, very much specialized fields. This is something that should be also taken into consideration. And um, yeah, of course, they will need a very deep knowledge about the functioning and possibilities of social networks. Social media are obviously of a paramount importance for digital do journalists. And, um, and of course, they must be also rearranging the idea of the agenda setting. So the agenda setting is also something that is shifting partially into the digital world. Um, we should not foolish ourselves thinking that uh, the agenda is made but in a democratic way by the readers or by users or by everybody. Agenda is all, is the agenda setting keeps, all, keeps still being much in, in, in hands of the powerful communication groups. But at the same time, there is the chance to sneak and see in social network what the people is worrying about. And a good uh, digital journalist could pick up those topics and turn them into uh, an interesting, pub of a public interest, interest information to be constructed together with the people. So this is also something that we have discovered and we are trying to, to help the students to, to understand and also to train. As a closing remark, um, thinking in um, the specificity of um, those journalists who uh, supported in digital, um, portable and interactive technologies, thinking in those journalists who have to uh, work and deal with um, crisis situations, no matter if we talk about war situation or social, political, um, critical situations and um, connecting with the initial reflection about the role of journalism in nowadays. I would end um, uh, stressing the paramount um, urgent need to um, 
put into the highest relevance and importance the role of journalist uh, at this moment. In, in a moment in where polarization, um, lack of real dialogue, extreme um, radicalization of uh, political, social and cultural positions, in a moment where uh, due to information and communication technologies partially, the phenomenon of fake news and distortion of uh, facts through media are putting our societies into a severe crisis of common trust, of convivence, and political and economical stability. The work and role of journalists seems to me to be even more and more important. For those who work in war situation and critical situations, this um, doubles the situation. It's like um, multiplying exponentially because we need to know the truth about what's happening in this context and these situations. Uh, from that point of view, I would, I would like to end uh, quoting um, somebody who's been such a um, source of inspiration, a model for everybody working on the field and also teaching journalism, which would be Oriana Falacci. No? I would like to remind the students and all my colleagues in the Pages um, project, quoting what Falacci said, uh, I have always looked on disobedience toward the oppressive as the only way to use the miracle of having been born. Part of the role of those journalists working in crisis situation is to face power and to help, um, help citizens to know the truth about the mechanisms that are uh, throwing us each against the other and constructing a false environment where real social communication and interaction is steps step by step, more difficult, more poisoned, and extremely um, difficult to, you know, to, to gain. And that would be all. It's been, it's been a pleasure to share with you this, this reflection. I hope to have been talk in the name of all our team of uh, teachers and researchers at the Master in, in Granada, and we hope to see you soon online or face-to-face. -face. Thank you very much.